City residents impacted by COVID-19 now have a simple way to access food and rental assistance. In February, the City Council approved using federal funding for vital programs that keep people fed and housed. Edina TV tells us more about the assistance now available through the social services organization Volunteers Enlisted to Assist People, or VEEP. This is the pace needed to feed thousands of families. Important work by volunteers at VEEP's food pantry in Bloomington that hasn't slowed since the start of the pandemic. Our volunteers process all the food. They kind of set it all up for the carts to come through. Over the past two years, 3,085 Edina residents have received food and household supplies through VEEP. People are taking care of people. Yeah. And the orders keep coming. You are going to hear that. The pandemic's over, the economy is back, but the people that we traditionally serve, those people living on low and fixed incomes, people working really hard, but in low income jobs, seniors and people with disabilities living on fixed incomes, they are the people that will experience the economic impact of this pandemic uh, far longer. For a diner resident, Rosa Alicia Ibarra Velasco, her husband and newborn daughter, and three sons. The past two years have held unique challenges. La pandemia a nosotros nos impactó. The pandemic really impacted us in a, in a really difficult way. I was pregnant at the time and my husband wasn't working. After burning through savings to pay the rent, she turned to Veep for help. So we were really scared. We didn't know if we could look, ask for help. We didn't know if it was available to us. And, you know, we were just in a really frightened spot, specifically because we had our kids and we didn't want to lose our home. She applied for and received rental assistance and started taking home groceries twice a month. Help that allowed her to stretch a fixed income to pay for the increasing cost of day-to-day -day life in Minnesota. The Edina City Council supported both programs with American Rescue Plan Act funding in February. You have to meet a certain income threshold and you have to demonstrate that you have a lease and that you have not been able to pay the rent. The landlord does become involved. It is to keep the landlord whole during these challenging times. The rental assistance program is temporary, but for those who qualify, the impact on one family can be substantial. Sin duda. Without a doubt, if we hadn't gotten this assistance, we would have definitively had to leave our home and likely would have had to have left the city. Since March of 2020, Veep has distributed close to $1 million in rental and utility assistance to Adina residents, helping 514 households. It takes a lot of courage to pick up the phone and call for help, but that is what we are here for. We have some amazing staff who want to talk to anybody who needs that support. Vital programs, <laughs> keeping families smiling, while the far-reaching impact of the pandemic weigh on household budgets. I'm Dan Carpenter for Adina TV. For more information about the food and rental assistance available, visit veep.org or call 952-888-9616 from 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday.